Hello everyone, as you say in Norwegian, but I'm going to say hello because I am English and I live next to Liverpool, because I'm from the world. Today I'm going to be starting something new, something, a series, or well, a topic, covering topics of a thing I love most, and it's thanks to that country right here, that helped me more love it, Norway. And what is it? Eurovision, the, probably the best music competition ever. And I really like international music. I like the, the culture about international music. And also being an autistic person, Eurovision is more like in small autistics, basically about creativity, diversity. Everyone can get involved. And as the slogan shows from this year's competition on behalf of Ukraine that were hosting it, like Sam Ryder said at our house, United by Music. So yeah, I'm gonna get right onto the topic on why Norway made me love Eurovision most. And it's all thanks, well, let me get the history of Eurovision. I first found about it in 2020. Like February 2020, like I think it was before James Newman and the Germany entry re revealed their songs. And it really interests me because of the music. And some of the music from 2020 that wasn't able to compete got kind of got me from listened to during the pandemic, the lockdowns, especially with Ireland's entry and Greece. Stephanie. But also the memories, well not memories, but some I mean, people that I didn't know did it. But probably earliest would have been Casa Carta and her song Glorious. I didn't know what the original was. I didn't know that she actually took part in 2013 and finished 22nd. But, you know, I've always been a Casa Carta fan. It's, she's part of my child as, as long as as well as Bass Hunter, Taylor Rose, and Ross Lynch. Bass Hunter, why haven't you done it yet? But, you know, let's go on to the topic by Norway. Made me love of Eurovision more, and it's all thanks to this guy, Tix. Tix, when I first listened to the song, really good at this wasn't for on that, but Tix really like his personality. The love story with Fendi. <laughs> you know, that's how we all kind of love Tix and joyfulness. And he was technically the first major artist that I liked from Eurovision that I wanted to support. As well as Tucson from Sweden, of course. But Tix, in the end, Tix, he finished 18. And no, last UK, we didn't get any. Nothing. I was able to stay up until Tix had finished. That was the first time watching Eurovision in my life, 2021. I went to bed when the Netherlands started. But Tix is an amazing person. His music's great. I love the Nord music. I love the electronic. It's basic. You wouldn't say this, but it's all thanks to Bass Hunter. Bass Hunter is basically inspired the music now of Nordics. With the electronic. So please, Bass Hunter, if you're watching this, which you probably won't until like, someone's revision this, please do it next year or the year after. I want to see you compete in the origin of Sweden in my life. At least once. I mean, I want to compete in it, but you know, that won't happen for a while. Probably. Maybe I'll go work with Willy Vlogs. But next on is these guys who revealed themselves last night. Subwoofer. We all know why we love Subwoofer and what they brought. Just being creative. 
they really the personality that backstory is more creative. Originally, I wanted Oda Grogosa, the one who did Horror Four, to win, but I'm glad so book for representing only because I finished ten. And that was the first time I technically got to watch Eurovision. Four. And Subwoofer's music is great, and basically, I think once or twice they have like some of my Twitter posts responding to them. So basically, any teachers watching this, I know Ben Adams knows me. And next, and finally, we're gonna, well, honorable mentions to Sam Ryder. We can all say this to Sam Ryder. Thank you very much. Or what you change in your vision. Just being you. That's thank you, Samurai. Please. Next on, we're going to talk about the, the one who's going to be representing Norway this year. And I only started listening to a song on Wednesday when the teachers were on strike. And my. Really good. I really want to meet her though. She's like really good. I can't pronounce her name, so this is her uh, Queen of Kings, really good song. Typical Norwegian. This is what you expect from Norwegians. Like, Viking music. And, re I really hope she wins. Or at least gets top five. Top three, at least. I really hope she goes far. I really hope that we I get to meet all three of these people. And Sam Ryder. And maybe armor from France show and possibly. But I'm gonna also show you this. I made this on the 2nd of February last year in DT. And then the day after, I got COVID. <laughs> yeah. I made this Norway flag. And the day after, I get COVID. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> if you're watching. So, yeah. Go Norway! And there, I, this is not going to be the only Eurasian video I'm going to do, there's definitely going to be more Eurasian videos, especially when it's going towards May. So like my, the day, uh, day before, you know, the shows, i probably do my predictions with you know, the semi-finals and the grand final. Who I think will go through and who will win. When everyone's been revealed at the time. So yeah. Bye! And... See you. Hello to all the new the new Norwegian fans on my channel now. <laughs> Hope to meet you in May, hopefully. So yeah, we're gonna be united by music because this is what Eurovision's all about. <laughs>